So now let's see how we can work with arm IK behavior inside of Character Animator. So right now you can see that I have a character, but if I were to click and drag it, you can see that the arms, they move both ways right over here, just like this. So I want to stop that out. I want the arm to favor one direction over the other. So in order to do that, what I need to do is go on onto the character. So I'm just going to go around, double click on the character. And what I want to do is I want to add in an IK behavior. So to do that, I'm just going to go around on to the top portion and click on the character's name. And then I'm going to go on to the behavior section on the right. And then I'm going to click on the plus button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select arm IK. Once I do that, the arm IK has been added as you can see right here. But what I need to do is I need to add in tags. So right now, if I were to go to handles, you can see that it is actually searching for all these handles right here. It is also searching for the neck handle right here there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in all of those handles. I'm just going to go around into, let's say, for example, the frontal handle. I'm going, going to go around, click on, let's say, head is there, there's hair, and let's go on to frontal. Let me just go over here onto the body. I'm just going to uh, search around the neck handle, first of all. So I'm just going to go around and see where the neck handle lies. So let's just go around and over here, here's the neck and here's the neck handle. That's already added in, so I don't, do not really need to do anything. So uh, I just need to go around onto the arm area right here. So what I want the character to, to do is just uh, bend around onto, let's say, frontal position and not bend around uh, oddly. So I'm just going to go around over here onto the hand and let's see if I have the necessary tags. So there are the elbows and there. So there's the left shoulder, left elbow. So this one is a draggable point. So that is not enough. The left elbow shoulder is there. The tag is there, right? Just like that. Elbow is there. But this one is simply a draggable point. I need to assign it. Uh, with a point. So I'm just going to go and click on left wrist just like this. So once I do that, I'm going to do the same with the right arm right here. So there's the right shoulder. As you can see, this is the right elbow. That's fine as well. And if I were to go over here, I need to add in this as well. So now if I were to go on to the record section right here and click and drag this, let's see what happens. It, it doesn't seem like much have been changed right here. What I need to do is make sure that the elbow, this point, is a bit onto the left side, as you can see right here. Just push it in because I want the arms to move inwards. I'm going to do the same with this one. And now let's see how it actually behaves. So if I were to go on to record right here, the IK, now you can see that it prefers one direction. I can pull it out. You can see that I'm there. I'm pushing it the other way, but the arm only bends on this direction right here, making it much more easier for us to animate out right here. So it does not bend around in the wrong direction, as you can see. And that is how you can use the arm IK behavior inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.